Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Crew Mode here on FIFA 16. This is episode number 7 I do believe and we do start today's episode off with a game against a team that we know very well in the form of Aston Villa. As you guys know we do a career mode with them as our other career mode on this channel and we are going to hopefully look to beat them today. In normal circumstances I'd want Aston Villa to win but in this circumstance as you guys can imagine... I don't want them to win, so it should be an interesting game. Hopefully you guys have had a good weekend. It is Monday evening as I make this video. 10 past 7 or 11 minutes past if you want to be exactly precise as to know when I was making this video. But um, back to work for me tomorrow. I've had four days off. Well, I've had the weekend and Friday and Monday today obviously off. So I am back to work tomorrow. Video should still continue as per usual. Going to try and get one up at least every day. See if we can go a whole week with a daily video. It's been a while since I've started work. I haven't really managed to find as much time to do that. Um, but hopefully we can, you know, over the next few weeks and such. So I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that, guys. And more than that, I'm looking forward to actually playing this game because it's going to be interesting. We've been in some decent form in this series so far. And hopefully today we can continue it on. So let's jump right in to the action. Our first touch of the game here. Can we do anything with it? We're going to play it down to Watson there. He could look to play it back to us. He's going to look to play it back to us. Was looking for a position and put myself up for a shot there. Diamante's got it. He's taken the shot. Probably should have looked for a pass there. Not the best position for him to be taking a shot. But that is the first chance of the game. We played him through. What was that? Oh my god. We played like the perfect pass down to that winger. Got a chance here. We're going to try and play through Diamante. Uh, it wasn't really the best pass to be honest. Our rating's a bit dodgy as well. It goes up and down. Etienne Capu could look to play us through here. We're going to ask for the ball through. It has come to us. We'll try and go round our man. We have done. And again, we have done. That is a fantastic skill run. And we finished it off as well. That was a wonderful solo goal from us there. Wasn't really too sure it would work. But um, it did. You know, a lovely few step overs there. Went round him. Roulette around that guy and then just shot into the back of the net. And it is Watford 1, Aston Villa 0. What a stunning finish that was. Free kick here. I think it was Paredes who took the guy down. And Aston Villa are going to get a free kick. Now, from my experience of Aston Villa, there wasn't really any good free kick takers at the club. But Sahan, who we don't have in our career, and I don't think he is part of Aston Villa, but pretty poor free kick from him. But I'm really impressed with our performance so far. Long may it continue. I'll try and thread through Diamante, who has gotten on to the end of it. We could look to get the ball back into the box now. He's going to cross it in, although I wouldn't really call that a great cross. And Jordan Amavi has actually gotten to it ahead of us. Pooh's going to play it to us. We'll knock it down into the path of Watson. Going to try and give it back to us. Wasn't really the best move from him. And that does mark the first half. And we do walk into the break 1-0 ahead. Hopefully the second half, guys, can be just as good, if not better, than the first half. Right, this is the second half, guys. Looking to just try and pass a lot more. Solo goal was kind of just like, you know, I thought, what what the hell? You know, we'll try it, and it worked. And usually, I would try and be <clears throat> a lot less selfish with the ball, as you guys know, in this series, playing as a cam. <clears throat> I'm not really too bothered about personal goal-scoring accolades. You know, we don't need to score goals as a cam, or not a ton of them. So, I'd rather, you know, <clears throat> rather than be selfish all the time, I'd rather the team score a goal than me score a goal. If you know, if it's a decision of me missing a shot or the team getting a goal, I'd much rather the team get the goal. So that's kind of the mentality that I've had since the start, and that is a mentality that I'm going to have going forward as well in this my player series. It just makes it more interesting, guys, and that's always the way that we want to try and play it. But Aston Villa on the attack here. Gway's going to cross it in. That's a decent cross from him. And it does get deflected and is out for a corner. But our rating is looking nice now, 8.7. Although I guarantee you by the end of the game it will probably be down to a 6. But still, it would be nice to get a good performance. And I might ask for a sub sub off in a minute. Because although we are doing very well, I think the team could probably do without me. And it would save our stamina as well for the next game. And judging by our rating as well, I wouldn't want to ruin it by uh, playing the game on knackered and just losing... Uh, points, but this is a fantastic chance. So they're going to cross it in. Oh, that could have been 2 0. That really should have been 2 0 as well. But you can see we are losing a lot of stamina. What I'm going to do is ask for a sub now because no doubt we'll play for another 10 minutes anyway. For us, hopefully, guys, the team won that because we played so, so well. And we'd be such a shame if we lost 
or even drew that game, but we had such a fantastic performance. I'm really, really pleased with that. And we did get man of the match for that game as well. And we are just unbeatable, apparently, which is incredible. But we're going to look and just please, guys. We lost 2-1. Oh, my God. That is awful. Oh, man, that sucks. But we're going to do some training sessions here. I'm just going to add them in. We've got pretty good grades in all of them, to be fair. I will do some of the training sessions probably in the next episode. But for this episode, we aren't going to. Now, I'm really annoyed about that. I can't believe we actually lost that game. But we've got a little break here, and then we've got a game against Norwich. So, I imagine we'll be picked for that game. Just trying to preserve our stamina as much as possible. And we've got all of our objectives there, which is absolutely sweet. And I will show you the season objectives in just a second. But training injury here doesn't really affect us any anyhow, because we're not even the manager of this club. It's kind of weird how they let you know. But uh, Tommy Hoban has... He's out for eight days with a bruised elbow, I think that was. But you can see, so far, our objectives for the season, we are doing quite well. We've now hit the goals created or scored, so that is fantastic. We're projected to score 10, which is amazing. We just need to get more chances created and just try and get that rating up a little bit better. We are on target to meet them all, which is fantastic. And I think we're in December now. We are in December, and we have been picked for this game against Norwich. This should be a pretty comfortable win, I think. I'm not like, going to disregard Norwich. What is this? Christ, these kits are horrendous. But um, I'm not going to sit here and disregard Norwich as a team because I do have a lot of respect for them. I think they're a good team, but I do think we have the upper hand in this game that we can go ahead and get a victory, especially off the back of that 2-1 defeat at the hands of Aston Villa. This could be a chance for an attack here. We'll ask for the ball through the middle. It's come to us. Unfortunately, the song, being as big as he is, is going to clear that away. Got a chance here. We are just running at the defence. We'll play through Nathan Ake there. We'll keep going. I mean, he could play it back into us here. It's a little bit too late. And what was that? How do we ruin that chance? We'll call for it here. And I'll just play it straight through to... Unfortunately, I came to Diamante. And Lewis there took the shot. That is just poor. Get the ball back there. Come on, son. Oh, shit. That was a really bad tackle. Didn't actually mean to do that. Um, I don't know why I just did that because that was very dangerous and we could actually get sent off for that. But it will probably be a yellow due to the fact the ref hasn't actually blown the whistle. But that is a hell of a shot there. Wow, we're going to get a booking for that though. That was a horrendous tackle. We're actually lucky not to get a red for that tackle that we committed. But we almost scored a fairly decent goal afterwards which was kind of frustrating. But um, you can see I, just, I don't know why I went for that because it was such a bad angle and that could have been a red card there. That was a pretty bad tackle. Clearly wasn't getting the ball either which didn't help. But we're going to try and ask for a pass here because what I want to do is just whip it in like that. And oh, it nearly worked. Just trying to get involved more in the game to you know, try and sustain our rating as well because we're trying to get a 6.0 six, a 6 rating overall for the season at the rate we're going it's just not going to happen so i do need to try and work on that but we could take a shot here with our weak foot that was a decent shot there and rudd in goal which is a strange name does actually keep it out but we may have a chance here from the corner it's going to come in we're going to run for it and unfortunately couldn't quite get my head to it all right we passed it into troy Deeney. back out to nathan ake could be getting a chance coming on here if they can play it into good space we'll ask for it I'll ask for it again. It's come into a good bit of room here. We could try and thread it through to Troy Deeney. Takes a shot and unfortunately it didn't work. That is another accomplishment. 80 out of 80 short passes completed, which is nice. And, oh, God, we don't want to be doing that again. I don't know why I keep sliding. It's kind of like a natural reaction to going for a slide. But Matt Jarvis on the left-hand side. He's going to pass it back to Brady. He's going to loft it over. Thankfully, the defender, Erkstran, there does actually manage to keep it out because... We have actually been subbed off, which is strange. That That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. But that is going to be the last game in the episode, as always, guys. But a little bit strange as to why we got subbed off. I mean, we, were, we weren't technically having the best of games. I guess that would be the reasoning behind it. But um, oh, we get defeated as well. What a joke. Like, if we just stayed on the pitch, I'm confident we wouldn't have lost. But, the you know, obviously the manager knows best. You know, it's just so, so stupid how this game works at times. But... Trying to find these bloody training sessions sometimes 
it's just so difficult. I don't want to miss ones out. We're just going to do free kicks because I do want to get into the free kicks here. You guys know that I'm all about that life. We're going to uh, look for perfect delivery as well. We're going to see if we can do anything with this training session. At least make an episode some sort of a highlight. And we have in a way because we are nearly now a 76 overall. We are growing quite well actually which I'm really, really pleased with. And we are going to simulate on and see if we're picked for the next game which is going to be against Sunderland on the 12th of December. And we have been picked in the starting lineup clearly. The managers just wanted to give us a break. And something I'm really not feeling is this haircut we got going on right now. We are going to change it. I'm just not about that life. Like I, I don't think it looks good at all. I think we just need something a little bit more like chill. Something like that maybe. Although that does kind of look crap. But you know. I don't know. Something just a little bit less, you know, weird I guess. Could be the middle spikes. That kind of looks cool. I like that. And then I also want to change... Uh, we can't even change the length of our bloody shirt. Oh, we've got an undershirt. That'd be why. Oh my god, we look so weird. So weird. Like, we're so skinny. But we're going to advance on anyway. That, guys, is going to be the end of the episode. Here is the league table. As you can see, we are not doing very well now. We have slipped down to 16th, which is tragic, considering couple of episodes back we were up in 10th we now dropped right down the table which is really not good hopefully in the next couple of episodes we can help Watford to get back into the swing of things and hopefully guys get back up into the top end of the table because that is ideally where I think we should be and where we know we need to be but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this episode if we could smash that like button and try and get over five likes that would be absolutely greatly appreciated if you haven't already go and subscribe to the channel for more fifa career mode content and i'll speak to you guys in episode number eight of the my player career mode very 